Officer Adi. Officer Adi. Officer Adi. Officer Ricky. Officer Ricky. Officer Ricky. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm just having fun. It's your man, Bondo Ray Boy, DBE. You already know who it be. Club gang up in this thing. These are my thoughts, my final thoughts, uh, hopefully, on Big K and Adi Boo. So after watching the, you know, seeing the battle, even seeing the champion uh, podcast afterwards, or whatever, a recap, I should say. And shout out to them nerds who chose not to speak on specific battles, but I give it to them. They breakdown was pretty good. I ain't gonna even hold you up. You know, I think they did a little. It was a little drama from Jay Black, but you know, y'all know that's what Black do. But in any event, this is my this is my assumption. This is my conclusion. When I come to, because I do recall the face off. I say both of them. That's funny. You can't see part one all of a sudden, but whatever. They touched on that too. But in any event, for Big K, I see what it is now. You know, I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about battling Adi Boom. It was never about beating Adi Boom. It was about exposing him. Plain and simple. Now that I think about the face-off. Because like I said in the previous video. Adi Boom rapped good for the majority of the night. He was good. If we talking about from a rapid battle rap standpoint, Adi Boom, he should have won. But like a lot of people, even me a little bit, after that first round, it was like, damn. It's kind of like Big K just deflated the, you know, he just took the air out of whatever, <laughs> whatever momentum he could have had. And I know a lot of us really don't fuck with Big K and don't really rock with him. We know how he love to block people. Look, man, I ain't the biggest Big K fan either, you know what I'm saying? But I got to give it to him. As far as strategy, the way he strategically did this shit, all he did was just brought some troops to the table. And let's be honest, we branded a lot of cats as rats and tattletellers without no real concrete evidence. Because even if he would have said it like that, y'all would have said he was reaching or whatever. Like Rum Nitty and Rock, even though we come to find out Rum Nitty wasn't reaching at all. But in any event, this is what y'all got. This is what you got to face. Look, man, he gave you the website to go get it. It's three, it's two or three websites. When you type in Big K Adi Booms, you can type in Adi Boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is at the end of the day, man. I know some of y'all don't like it. But for y'all trying to make this about color, y'all stop that. Y'all that's doing that. Yeah, man. I think Big K by it. It's possible. He may he may have ended Adi Boom career. Okay, let's be honest. Adi Boom may have ended Adi Boom career. And you can say you was 19, you ain't know what you was signing. Yeah, 6 9 tried that. I don't think he I don't think they bought it from him either. I really don't know how you come back from this. I don't know. That's crazy. Two of the worst scandals you could be in is going on in battle rap right now. You got everything rock going through. And you got what Adi Boom going through. You got the transgender scandal. And you got the tattletale scandal, <laughs> I'm going to say. I don't know. Maybe mad for how you are in my expert opinion. You get a chance to explain. Who knows? Well, shout out to Big K. Prayers go out to Adi Boom. Good luck moving forward. I ain't gonna throw no salt on you, man. You getting it. You catching it. Maybe where it is what it is. You gotta get what come with it. Salute to the real. Shout out to my DVE fam. Shout out to Miss McCray all day. What up, Pride Time B? I see you. I... Intelligent Cycle, Thizzle Young, what up T-Bull, the Bootleg King, Phone Jones, shout out all my peoples, man. It's your man Mondo Ray Boy. I'll get at y'all in a minute. Peace.